take our third stab at getting the modifieds underway. Jay Notaboom, Jordy Nelson lead the field to the green flag. John Anderson had two good initial starts, waved off. Anderson possibly the fastest car here in the field this evening. We'll have to let 30 laps sort themselves out. Anderson now ducks to the low side. He and Notaboom side by side. Nice run, Bowers Jr. Up into third. Hey, what do you know? We got one in the books. Anderson out front. Notaboom second. Bowers runs third. Four spot for a Jordy Nelson. It's three car breakaway between Anderson, Notaboom, and Bowers Jr. Now Anderson jumped up to the top side. That'll shuffle Notaboom back down to the bottom. Time by at the line. Anderson has an auto boom by a nose. Pretty good battle on what's still an extremely racy Thunder Hill Speedway here for the final. Feature race of the evening. Tracks held up outstanding. It's rather, it's been an outstanding shape the entire night. Slick now from top to bottom. No rubber to speak of. No to boom. That's seven in now out front. Anderson back in second. John making a few test runs before they do some Late season modified special racing. Seven laps down, Ander Notaboom Anderson, Bowers Jr., Jordy Nelson. Your top four cars running that fifth spot. I believe that's Mike Jurgens. That not jerked in the fifth spot. That's a 2X of Red Munson. Boy Bowers Jr. sure knows how to get around Thunder Hill Speedway. Up on the top side, looks like the fast lane. Right around the bottom of the racetrack. Bowers Jr. making hay off of turn number four. Wearing out what's left of that cushion up on the top side. Anderson Notaboom contends catfish right around the bottom. While Bowers carrying much more speed through the corners. Off of four, got ourselves a brand new leader on, on lap number 10. Eighteen left to go. Junior now jumps up to the top side. Nota Boom runs his second. Anderson all alone there in third. Looks like the fast line around three and four on the bottom of the racetrack. Still see several cars up off that bottom group, but it looks like the cars that are making up any distance are doing it really down in three and on the exit of turn number four. Continue to click off here. Final race of the evening. Anderson 
Nordboom the best battle on the speedway, still for that second spot. Anderson gaining lots of momentum through one and two, but it looks like Nordboom able to run that preferred line through three and four. Still going at it as hard as they have at any point of the entire race. Stephen Bauer still comfortably holds about a 10 car length advantage over the second and third place runners. There it is, white flag. Stephen Bowers Jr. One more circuit. Final green flag lap at Thunderhill Speedway this evening. Bowers looks like unless he bobbles, which he has at any point during the race, he'll go ahead and take the $1,750 paycheck. Bowers Jr. wins it. Second place to John Anderson. Jay Notaboom runs third. Thank you so much. Jewel race event winners. Everything all rolled into one here tonight at the Thunder Hill Speedway. Pretty stout field of cars from front to back. When you look it over, you got a handful of guys with a pretty good shot to win this race. This is about as wide open as it gets. The field picks up the pace off of turn number four. Al Perky and Terry Phillips lead the field to the green flag. They'll now work down into turn one. Come on, Al. Perky and Phillips lock it up side by side. Al Perky out front. Perky only one win this year on the 2010 Tour. It came the second race of the year back in April at the Lucas Oil Speedway. Perky up down low, Phillips up high. Boy, good things on the racetrack right now. Driver's able to run a low, a middle, and a high groove. Brad Looney now making his charge up through the front. Looney started fifth, just a couple of laps. He's already up to third. That'll shuffle Chad Simpson back to the fourth spot from his third starting position. Jeremy Payne now up on the cushion. He'll get a good run on the top side of Bowen. Payne now takes over the fifth spot, or does he? Bowen fights back on the low side. Quite a bit of moisture down low, especially there in three and four. We've got three laps scored. As we race on lap number four, Terry Phillips is your leader out front on the speedway. Perky runs second, Chad Simpson third, Brad Looney fourth, Kelly Bowen fifth. From there on back, it's Jeremy Payne, Dave Eckrich running sixth and seventh, eighth spot to Alan Vaughn, ninth to Jack Sullivan, a three-car battle for tenth. J.D. Hubert almost spins it at one, one and two. Turner backs off the gas to avoid from turning Hubert into the infield. We stay green on the speedway as we are racing on lap number six. The 40 of Sean Lee will be the first to go a lap down. Terry Phillips dispatches the lap car. Al Berkey does the same on the top side of one and two. Chad Simpson running all alone in third. Kelly Bowen now jumped up to the fourth spot. That'll shuffle. Brad Looney back to fifth. Your top five cars have checked out on the rest of the field. It's 10 to 15 car links back to Jeremy Payne. As Looney fights back now up on the top side of the speedway. Bowen slides up on Looney. He'll take away his momentum. They roll down the back straightaway. Battle on the racetrack is for that fourth and fifth spot. Dave Conkright looking to go. The next to go a lap down. Berkey hot on the heels of Phillips. Terry Phillips line totally went away off of turn number two. Phillips 
Pokes and all sorts of traffic. Scott Koskovich slows and off the pace. Al Perky making up all sorts of momentum through turns three and four. Phillips uses Conkright to set a pick. He'll retain the lead. Perky now jumps to the middle of the racetrack. Perky with a good run. Ian Phillips run clean side by side off the of turn number two. As we're racing on lap number nine, they'll put nine laps down this time by. Phillips, Perky, Simpson, Bowen, Looney, your top five. Then it's a straightaway back. Jeremy Payne, Dave Eckrich, Jack Sullivan, Alan Vaughn, John Anderson. Yellow flag on the speedway. Phillips with four wins on the tour this year. An average finish of four. We'll see what he's got for the rest of the field. As we've got ten laps in the books. We're set to go racing on lap number 11. Phillips leads the field back to green. Berkey gets a good run, as does Chad Simpson on the bottom. Looks like the racing group might have went to the lower side of the racetrack there just a little bit. Now Jeremy Payne and Brad Looney side by side for the fifth and sixth position. They're three wide up front. Kelly Bowen on the low side. Now Perky up a group. Phillips has all sorts of cars in front of him, or behind him, rather. All sorts of action going on right behind him. Bowen now gets a good run. He'll look to the bottom side of Terry Phillips. Kelly Bowen's found moisture on the low side of three and four. Bowen leads on lap number 12. That'll slide Phillips back to second. We'll see if Phillips was saving anything for the challenge. He's now up on the top side, Kelly Bowen. Out of Henderson, Colorado in a brand new rocket two weeks ago. Showing the field the fast way around Thunder Hill this evening. Phillips now runs in the second spot. Perky runs third, fourth is Simpson, fifth is Brad Looney. Simpson bobbles off at of turn number four. From there on back, the 22 of Vaughn, the 74 Payne, the 58 of Dave Eckridge. Phillips now coming back. Boy, we've got ourselves some makings of a classic duel here tonight at the Hill. As they'll complete lap 15, this time by a dead heat. Anybody's call right there at the line. Phillips up on the top, Kelly Bowen down low. Unbelievable. As good as the heat races were, this feature race has been all that and more. Bowen now the leader this time by. Phillips looks like he might have a little bit of nose damage right above the right front tire. He'll now cross back over. Bowen jumps to the top side. They've swapped racing lines. Kelly Bowen wanted to try the top side of the speedway. Phillips now ducks down low and smooth sailing in front of Bowen. A couple of lap cars down on the low side of the speedway. Cars being now shown the move over flag. 18 laps in the books. Kelly Bowen now opening up the biggest lead anybody's held all race long. About a quarter of a straightaway on the 75 of Phillips. Al Perky. Perky's car looks good. He's on the hunt right now. Lewandowski getting ready to go a lap down. Bowen's already dispatched him. Phillips and Perky do the same as well. Good battles on the speedway for second. Good battles for the fourth spot as well. Perky now dive bomb down into turn number three. Perky now on the move. He'll take over the second spot that time at the line from Terry Phillips. All the while, second and third race hard side by side. Kelly Bowen able to advance his lead. I'm telling you, there's something on the bottom of the speedway in three and four that Kelly Bowen's able to use. Nobody else is. Trouble in the top of turn two. This time by for Henderson, Colorado's Kelly Bowen. He'll circle his rocket around the speedway one more time. We'll see who's going to come home second, third, and fourth. What a great run. Chad Simpson's now jumped up to third. That'll shuffle Perky to fourth. Bowen off of four. Thunder on the hill, night one winner. Second spot goes to Chad Simpson. Phillips third, Perky fourth. Brad Looney rounds out your top five. Jeremy Payne sixth. Dave Eckridge seventh. Eric Turner eighth. Alan Vaughn ninth. Jack Sullivan rounds out the top ten. There will be a complete and updated press release.